Um, you also want, might want to take note that the frames per second of uh, this flash file and the size of it are the same as what my config file was. So if I go back over here to resources, flar, flar config.xml, it's the same uh, display width, display height, and frame rate. So you want to make sure those are the same. So then once you type in, you know, examples .flar manager tutorial dot uh, tutorial underscore colada, you can click this little pencil, and that'll just open up uh, that that action script file. And inside of here, uh, you have a whole bunch of um, other action script files that are being imported, um, and the the flar toolkit files, and just some some information about what this uh, what this file is. Um, and then you have you know your variables being set up. Um, and you have flower manager being set up and it's it looks for your config file and then it adds your markers and creates a new scene and I have it using uh, well, actually, by default, it uses the lazy render engine. Um, I'll show you how to change this later so that we can get a, a, a better rendering engine um, that has better Z sorting. Uh, it'll make your models look a lot nicer. Um, and then right here is where it loads your uh, your DAE file. So I have it loading uh, my my box.dae file that I animated, and you can adjust the rotation and scale of your model here. Um, I'll go into this in more detail later, but this is just a little overview. Um, so this is just a a function for um, the mo the the marker being added. So like if it if it can find uh, your your pattern file uh, being held up in front of the webcam, it's going to uh, you know trace that it identified the marker and tell you which marker it found, um, and then it will uh, show the 3D model that you have associated with it and. Yeah, and it'll it'll set its position in 3D space, um, and then marker removed uh, does the same thing, only in reverse. So it, it's tracing that you know you remove the marker, and it uh, it hides the model. But you can change that so that it doesn't hide the model when you remove it. Uh, this is what the U.S. Postal Service did for their augmented reality box simulator. Uh, it's really easy, really cool stuff though. Uh, and then it'll stop um, updating the position of the model because uh, it, it won't find the tracker anymore. And uh, yeah, that's that's basically it. Um, I'll, I'll do a more in-depth tutorial a little bit later um, covering Flower Manager a little bit better. This is just an overview uh, to get you started. Um, so yeah, if you just open up my my flash file that I have created for you, uh, you can you know make changes to you know what model is being loaded, uh, the size, the scale, uh, and you know you can add lights to the scene or uh, you know add add your own code to it. Um, or make changes to it. But if I just go back over here and I'll just save my my flash file and publish it uh, doing control enter uh, control enter. 
on the PC. I think it's command return on the Mac. And this is normal. Um, it'll say that it's not responding. And just give it a minute. And it'll give you some warnings. It's cool. And it, it's starting to load my, my animation. It's all loaded. It's all good. So I just got to click allow. All right. And uh, my business card has uh, my J tracker on it. Um, there we go. But I included a PDF that you can print out and use. Uh, it's not being very friendly today. There we go. And if if you're looking at this and you see like. Like, especially when it, it goes down like right there there's some really bad Z sorting um, I'll show you how to fix that later so yeah that's augmented reality uh, using FAR Manager it's pretty simple um, yeah, so just download that, that zip file that I have for you, and uh, you guys can just get to it, making your own augmented reality applications uh, using Flash CS4. Um, I'd recommend using Flex or, you know, Eclipse um, if you're really going to seriously get into this, um, because it, it compiles correctly. Um, I, I, I really need to get around to learning, you know, flex, uh, so that I can, I can do that, so I don't have to deal with this, uh, this bug. Uh, plus, it, it's good to know flex anyway, it's a, a really nice IDE. Uh, so that's it. Um, you guys should be able to, you know, get something up and running. Uh, with this and uh, you know the other tutorials that I have on my website. All right, uh, I'll go into more detail later. Later, uh, but this is Ben Jones, and uh, it was fun showing you guys a little bit of augmented reality and far manager. I'll see you later. Bye bye.